When you pull up to a gas station, you've got three choices for fuel. You can get regular, mid-grade, or premium. Which should you choose and does it make a difference? Today on Revzilla, we'll explain octane ratings and what they mean for your motorcycle. Let's open up the shop manual. Your standard North American gas station offers three grades of fuel. You've got your regular, which is usually labeled an 87 octane. You've got your mid-grade, which is typically an 89. And then you've got your premium, which is often a 91 or a 93 octane fuel. Oh, that's the good stuff. Now, European gas stations typically display higher numbers, but that's only because they use a different rating system. The grades are actually equivalent. And when it comes to fuel grade and octane in particular, a lot of people think it's an indication of the gasoline's power density, and that a higher octane gas will net more horsepower, get better mileage, or offer better throttle response. Not quite. I mean, it's an easy connection to make given all the high octane cafes, high octane CrossFit gyms, and other brands and products that use the high octane label to convey potency, but high octane gas alone does not yield more power unless it's preventing detonation, which is also known as engine pinging or knock. The higher the octane, the more resistant the fuel is to detonation. To understand what detonation is and why you'd want to avoid it, let's talk about the combustion process for a moment. Under normal conditions, the spark plug ignites the fuel mixture and the flame front spreads evenly throughout the combustion chamber. At 5,000 RPM, this happens 40 times per second. In a detonation situation, there's spontaneous ignition somewhere in the combustion chamber after the plug fires. It's a renegade flame front and it's bad news. When the two flame fronts collide, there's a massive pressure spike in the cylinder that presents itself as a pinging or knocking noise. The detonation shockwave hammers on the piston and can crack the piston crown, deform ring lands, collapse rod bearings, and cause all kinds of other damage. Detonation is more likely to occur when the fuel air mixture is squeezed harder, which is exactly what performance engines with their high compression ratios and sky high rev limits do. So while high octane gas and horsepower do go hand in hand, premium gas isn't making more power. It's simply allowing the engine to work harder without getting rattled apart by detonation. It's a little like drinking a protein shake. If you do it in conjunction with a kick-ass workout, it helps you build muscle. Meanwhile, drinking it without getting off the couch will fill your tank, but it won't do you much good otherwise. Mm, it is delicious though. Oh, it really is. If you're wondering what octane fuel to use in your bike, it'll be listed on a sticker on your gas tank, or you can find it spelled out in your owner's manual. And whatever the manufacturer recommends is what you should stick with because that's what your bike was designed to burn. If you're running premium in a bike that calls for regular because you think it's going to make more power or net you more MPGs, you're wasting your money. The only reason you would need to upgrade your gas is if you've installed high compression pistons or advanced your ignition timing or done some other mod that's going to increase combustion pressure and temperature. But unless your bike is knocking on 87 octane, it's not gonna run any better or make any more power on 89 or 93. On the flip side, if you're thinking of going cheap and putting regular in a bike designed to burn premium, well, here's another look at those wrecked pistons. However, if you're forced to fill up on subpar fuel for some reason, don't freak out. Just avoid high load and high RPM riding until you can add an octane booster or fill up with the correct grade gas. All that being said, there is more to fuel grades than just octane. As you go up in octane, you also go up in additive concentration, namely detergents designed to keep your injectors, valves, and piston crowns clean. The idea here is that a vehicle engineered to run on high octane gas is likely built to a higher state of tune, so internal cleanliness is essential for proper performance. There is a concentration requirement for detergents, and about 50% of retailers only put in the minimum. This is usually what you find sold at no-name discount stations, and it can lead to carbon buildup on your piston crowns, your combustion chamber, and your valves, and in the long run, that can impede your engine's performance. Then there's top-tier fuel, which is what most big-name retailers carry. Top-tier fuels contain a higher concentration of detergent additives, 2.5 times more at minimum across the grades, with some stations premium using seven times the required amount. So, if you frequent the Quickie Mart for discount regular gas, the occasional tank of premium from a name brand top tier station may do your engine some good. In summary, more octane does not mean more power, unless your engine has been modified to take advantage of the high octane fuel's anti-knock index. However, 
Premium gas does have a higher concentration of detergents, which can keep your engine cleaner, which in the long run will help sustain power, mileage, and throttle response. So go ahead and fill up with premium if it makes you feel better. Just don't think that it's making your bike any faster.